this is my moleskin sketchbook number 40 or so I believe I kind of uh, lost track I think I, I actually wrote 40 anyway started on the 1st of September 2021 on the trip to uh, London So this was uh, made during that flight maybe this part as well I don't really remember maybe inspired by London I don't know an old fascination by the 17th century ships I have had it since a uh, child so can't stop drawing them for some reason and this was inspired by uh, old buildings in uh, Portugal I couldn't go uh, <laughs> this year but uh, I made this uh, ceramics blue ceramics building crowded uh, city I kind of uh, get bored with drawing all the houses and I just uh, start adding large characters so that I don't have to draw all the buildings a scene from uh, my kitchen I guess uh, made during the Christmas season If you have no ideas, you can always drive uh, draw your palette. Also themed after the season, I guess. We had some snow this year, so I was uh, lucky and we made some real snow people. Some tools. It's handy to have. This was uh, when there was this uh, Chinese New Year. I made some uh, zodiac animals. And one page more. Year of the Tiger. Sometimes I just uh, leave the lines and don't uh, color it. And uh, this was made with a different ink different color of ink my workspace i guess some of my shoes uh, i used a different kind of um, i think dr martin's ink for the coloring so it was um, easier to get it uh, smooth some self-portraits and this was after I had uh, given my blood uh, I gave blood yesterday as well so it's about uh, three months ago I guess and this is part of my I guess um, fitness routine. And this I made um, while I were in uh, Venice. So that's uh, all the lions are inspired by that. And also I guess this uh, this page. I didn't do it uh, on. Uh, location well i started the only location but uh, finished it when i got home also one of those really busy city scenes and also some different uh, experiment with the colored inks i guess 
and um, I'm not sure what I was thinking. And we made a short trip to a small city in Sweden called Wahlstena. And this is uh, part of the story of our, it was just for one day. And uh, this crest is uh, also all the places we visited and the, the restaurants we frequented. And here I'm waiting for my visa. To, I'm going to Japan uh, this summer. So uh, I had to wait in the car because uh, there was just one person per visa application. More, more of those uh, 17th century uh, ships. And this is the page I haven't finished. It's the last page in the sketchbook. And that's... Uh, my visa to Japan and some uh, martial large uh, animals, I guess. Some blue lines and some, I guess, uh, electronics. I'm not an expert, but uh, kind of uh, enjoy drawing these kind of things. You just make one and then you have to finish it it off eventually. Music and insects. And some robots. Get some robots. I tend to have start the sketchbook from two uh, directions. So if I'm not really inspired, I start from the end of the sketchbook for some strange reason. More boats. And this is um, a page filled with uh, self-portrait. I thought that I had uh, COVID, but I actually just had the regular influenza. I can't even then make that get the correct sickness, I guess. And this is uh, the last drawing I made for our beloved dog who died last year, Asta. We, we miss her very much, but she was very old, almost 16 years old. So, and this is small, small drawings from the dreadful, dreadful war that just goes on and on. This is some, some lines. You see, uh, a little bit less inspired from the, from the end. It's a self-propelled uh, bicycle and just some random animals, I guess. And this is the last page. And here I used the uh, ink that isn't uh, permanent, so it washed away. Uh, it's quite interesting anyway. Okay, that's it. Now for the next sketchbook. Thanks for watching.